folks. I'm just in the process of tearing the shredder down for a full respray and finishing of its cover sheets and guards. I just thought I'd give the uh, Century electric motor a bit of a run on the ground. There's no resonance from the metal stands or housing or anything. I thought some of you might like the sound of it. Also see how the uh, contactor and everything works in my control panel. This whole motor cost me about 50 bucks at the local scrapyard. I just bought it by scrap weight because it wasn't working when I got it. I just unseized the necklace and she ran just fine. Obviously stripped it, stripped it right down completely and flushed the lubrication sumps and gave it a full overhaul but it runs like a charm right now. Hold on. Give it a shot. No load of course, she starts up immediately. There's no real wind up. You can just see one of the brushes touching, the spring's not retracting it completely, but that doesn't cause any interference or arcing. And this is the switch panel that I've built. I've got a master isolating switch, indicator of lamp, main contactor, and a few distribution blocks. This one here is your main power in, going out to the wall. Uh, the crusher feeder cable screws in here and is connected straight to this block. Your main contactor is operated by the normally open, normally closed switches in this switch unit. When you press the start switch it will momentarily energize the coil and then the third pole of the contactor will emulate that switch as long as the contacts are held closed. It'll literally keep the coil energised by itself, regardless of whether or not you're pushing the start button. But as soon as you press the stop button, it will break the circuit between the coil and the power supply, and the contacts will spring open and stay open until you press the start button again. That's run. Now I'm going to break the circuit to the coil, and the contacts will open. It's basically just a giant relay, and that's off. And you can press the stop button as many times as you want. There's no circuit there. You press the start button. The contacts will close again. Again, the contactor is making the circuit itself because the coil is still energised. That won't do anything. Press, press stop. She'll open. Very useful things, contactors. This has a 240 volt AC coil in it, but you can get 12 or 24 volt or 110 volt coils and run them. They have a PLC mounted in your control panel and have it send signals to a bank of contactors to run various motors and other drives. They don't have to be 240 volt AC. Or at least any AC. I know American voltage is 110. 